Hello and welcome to a new video of database management systems. In this video, we are going to learn about a new database management system called PostgreSQL. I'm going also to show you how to install it on your local machine and how to create your first database. PostgreSQL is an advanced enterprise class and open source object relational database management system, which supports both relational and non-relational queries. PostgreSQL has a variety of libraries of API which are available for a variety of popular programming languages such as Python. And as you can see on the screen, this is the official website for Postgres. Just type postgresql.org and you will be directed to this page. In this video, I'm not going to say each time PostgreSQL, I will just refer to it as Postgres. PostgreSQL is a powerful open source object relational database system with over 30 years of active development that has earned it a strong reputation for reliability, feature robustness, and performance. There is a wealth of information to be found describing how to install and use PostgreSQL through the official documentation, and so on. You can read more. Uh, you're free to explore. Um, this website it has everything about Postgres. So um, in your free time, you can go ahead and do that. But now I will show you how to download and install Postgres. Then you will choose your operating system. Um, I'm using Windows, so click on Windows. And the latest version of PostgreSQL is version 13. It's only available on Windows and on Mac. So if you'll click on download the installer, so as you can see here, the version, the latest version, version 13 is only available on Mac OS X and Windows 64. So click on download and the download should start now. It takes from two to four minutes to download. All right, so the download is done and we have our file here. Just double click on that. All right, so there it is. So what we're going to install now is a package for Postgres. So it has a shell, which is a command line interface. It has PG admin 4, which is a GUI interface for managing your databases. All right, so go ahead and click next. This is the destination where you're going to install Postgres. Next. So there it is. I just, I need the command line tools. And of course the PostgreSQL server, we will leave it. Uh, PG admin 4, we need it also. And I don't need the stack builder. All right. Click next, um, please select a directory under which to store your data. Okay, fine. Next, so the password, so just enter your password. Next, so if you don't provide a port to Postgres, Postgres will assume that the default port is 5432 and it will work on it. So 5432 is the port number uh, on which the server will listen on. All right, next, um, the locale. Okay, you can, it's like I will leave it to default locale, but you, as, as you like, you can choose whatever you like. This is um, the settings. Usually I like to take a screenshot for that and just, I keep it just in case. So you're free to do so, or just click next. Setup is now ready to begin installing PostgreSQL on your computer. Click next and the installation takes from four to six minutes. So I'll see you when it's done. So what I want to show you now is two ways for creating a database. One way using the PG admin and the other way is using the SQL shell or the PSQL. All right. So this is the first way where we can create our database using PG admin. A side note, why? the mascot for PostgreSQL is an elephant. They say because elephants have a great memory and they never forget anything, exactly like your database, which shouldn't forget anything. All right, so this is your password, which we have entered when we were doing the installation. So type your password. All right. In your servers, so please enter the password for user Postgres. So again, because we have a password for the server and again for your PostgreSQL. 
And as you can see, the port, as I told you, 5432 on the local host and maintenance database Postgres and username is Postgres. If you would like to modify any of that, just click on edit and you can create whatever you want. All right, but we won't do anything, won't touch anything. Okay, so here, as you can see, is your server, your main server, PostgreSQL 13. And inside databases, uh, you don't have anything, just this Postgres database, uh, I didn't create it. It's just a default database uh, brought with uh, the Postgres setup. So if you want to create a database uh, simply on databases and right click. But before we create a database in the PG admin, let me just show you the SQL shell. All right. So server local host, you can see here in the background, we just we didn't create a database yet. Um, just hit enter, enter port 5432, enter username Postgres, which is the super user password for user Postgres, uh, enter your password and hit enter and you are ready to rock and roll. If you will um, hit backslash L and enter, you can see all the databases in our uh, main server list of databases we have Postgres which is the one that I showed you which is uh, here in the background this one and also template 0 and template 1 we won't touch any of these so now let me show you how we can create a database in our PG admin so as we said right click here create database and we'll call it maybe master and save All right, now our master database is created. All right, so if you will click on that and you can find here that we don't have in schemas, for example, we don't have any tables, we don't have um, any trigger functions, we don't have anything, foreign tables, nothing. All right, so let me show you again in our uh, PSQL if we will display the list of databases again what we will have now we can see that master is created also here because they are basically the same it's the same server one is a GUI interface and the other is a CLI okay so if we want to delete that database so we can come here and the statement for that is drop or delete we can delete that yes and now it's deleted so if we will display again the list of databases that we have, we can see clearly that it disappeared from list of databases. Now let me show you if you want to create a database using the CLI or the PSQL, you will say create database and the name of your database, which is master space and semicolon like that and enter. Right, so create database. Okay, it's created. Sorry, it was capital. So if we will um, display the list of databases again, we can see that master now is included in the list of databases. And in the GUI, if we will um, refresh the whole server, we can now see that master is uh, recreated. All right, so. Um, I suggest that you take a look to the SQL code always in uh, all of the databases. Um, just it, it helps improving your SQL uh, understanding. All right, so this was how to install PostgreSQL on your local machine and how to create a database using the PJ Admin 4 and the PSQL. I hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.